Assalamu alaikum. <coughs> I am Dr. Nafisa Roshid, Associate Professor, Department of Pharmacology, Boshundara Addin Medical College. Welcome to our online session. Our today's topic is Narcotic Analgesic Part 2. Today I will discuss you about the pharmacological effects of morphine in details. In my last class, I have mentioned the CNS effect and PNS effect. I am uh, repeated again. Uh, that is CNS effect, there is two types of effect, number one inhibitory effect and number two is stimulatory effect. Then what are the inhibitory effects? The inhibitory effects number one analgesia, that means relief of pain. Actually morphine is used only this uh, reason and this is the most important reason for the uh, use of morphine. Number two hypnotic effect, that means sleep. In case of um, morphine, there is deep sleep, like us, um, it is so deep that uh, a person cannot arouse by an ordinal stimuli. Number three, there is respiratory depression. <coughs> morphine causes cardiorespiratory depression too. Number four, cough suppression. In case of uh, cough, the, we use some. Um, um, medicine which contain codeine, hydrocodeine, this type of morphine. Number 5, it inhibits the heat regulatory center. As a result, the uh, skin of the morphine addicted people is cooler than the normal people. It also inhibits the vasomotor center as, as a result there is bradycardia that is decreased heart rate. Number 7, euphoria and dysphoria. So, these uh, seven types of effects occurs in case of inhibitory effect of morphine in case of CNS. Now, I will discuss about the stimulatory effect. It stimulates the edinger westfall nucleus as a result there is meiosis of the pupil that is constriction of the pupil. Number two, there is stimulation of the CTZ that means chemoreceptor trigger zone and as a result there is vomiting. Number three, there is stimulation of vagus nucleus as a result there is bradycardia also that is decreased heart rate. Number 4 there is spinal cord contraction as a result there is truncal rigidity. So, in case of any type of uh, epilepsy or convulsion or truncal rigidity morphine cannot be used. Number 5 there is stimulation of supraoptic and paraventricular nucleus. As a result, there is secretion of the antidiotic hormone and there is oliguria in case of morphine addicted patient. And last number is changes in the mood that is euphoria and dysphoria. These are the stimulatory effect of morphine in case of CNS. Now, I will show you the peripheral effects of morphine. Number 1, there is GIT constipation there is GIT, there is constipation of um, uh, constipation in case of morphine addicted people and peripheral effect in case of biliary tract, there is constriction of the biliary tract and contraction of the sphincter of the biliary tract that is sphincter of OD. So, in case of any type of gallbladder stone, we cannot use the morphine because there will be rupture of the biliary tract. In ureter and urinary bladder, in case of urinary bladder, there is um, relaxation of the urinary muscle and constriction of the uh, trigon and the sphincter of the bladder. As a result, there is retention of urine. In case of cardiovascular system, there is hypotension and bradycardia occurs by using morphine. Respiratory system, there is depression of the cardiorespiratory system. It also causes histamine release. As a result, there is bronchoconstriction and uh, de uh, poor respiratory uh, system. In case of uterus, morphine um, delays, uh, morphine delays the labor in case of uterus, pregnant uterus and modulation of the immune system that is there is uh, less chemotaxis and less immune system and less T, T cell type of lymphocyte formation. As a result, there is decreased immune system in case of morphine. Now, how morphine causes constipation in case of GI tract? This is an important question for your viva. You will answer like that, that is it causes constipation by increasing the GI tract tone, that means the muscles, smooth muscles of the GI tract. Then it also decreases the peristaltic movement of the gut and as a result there is constipation occurs. 
and also there is decrease of the exocrine secretion. You know if the exocrine secretion is decreased and peristaltic movement is also diminished then there will be no pass of the stool. Now again there is constriction of the sphincters of the GI tract. The sphincters of the GI tract will also constrict it in case of morphine. And Lastly, inhibition of the defecation reflex. These five things causes constipation of GI tract in case of morphine. Now, what are the indications of morphine? Indications of morphine is very important because it is a addicting drug and uh, if we not use it cautiously, the patient may get, a, get addicted, addicted by using this type of drug. Number one, there is severe diagnosed visceral pain. I again um, sp speaking that severe diagnosed visceral pain that means in case of mild to moderate pain we can't use morphine. Of course, we will use it in case of severe pain and why diagnosed it all uh, it should be used in case of diagnosed pain because in case of undiagnosed pain if we use morphine the patient would get relief from the pain and he may go back to the home but, in, but the pathology remains in within the body. So, we can't use morphine in case of undiagnosed case, we, we should use it in case of diagnosed case. And why in visceral pain? Because morphine has no role in the somatic pain. So, we will use it in case of severe diagnosed visceral pain. And what are the cases uh, of severe visceral diagnosed pain? Number one, ISD, is ischemic heart disease in case of acute abdomen, in case of fracture, in case of postoperative pain, in case of constant cancer pain. We know that in case of ischemic heart disease, there is a severe pain in the chest and patients think that um, he is going to die. This type of pain can be relieved and patient may get relief from the distress by using morphine. In case of acute abdomen like after diagnosis of appendicitis or after diagnosis of cholecystitis or any type of acute condition, we may subside the pain by using the morphine. In case of fracture, there is severe bone pain. In, uh, the, in, the, in that case, morphine is also very beneficiary. In case of postoperative pain, we know that there is very, uh, very severe pain in the uh, viscera. So, this type of pain can be relieved by using morphine and constant palliative, uh, constant cancer pain. In case of uh, palliative care unit, we may use this type of uh, analgesic to reduce the um, severe constant pain in case of uh, cancer patient. Again, acute left ventricular failure, pul uh, acute pulmonary edema, pre-anesthetic medication, these are, uh, these are also important indications of morphine because uh, in case of pulmonary edema, morphine causes vasodilatation that means it decreases the preload and afterload as a result there is easy going to the uh, heart, uh, blood can easily go to the um, heart and, and can also easily uh, go to the tissue. <coughs> And in case of pre-anesthetic medication, morphine can be used to relieve the pain because after some times uh, the operation will be done. So, pa the patient can relieve by get relief from the pain by using the morphine. And non-specific diarrhea, uh, because there is no infection, so in case of non-specific diarrhea, we can use morphine like loperamide can be used in case of um, this type of non-specific diarrhea or non-infective diarrhea. Production of euphoria and analgesia in dying patient. In case of dying patient to relieve the distress and uh, this um, the morphine can be used to produce the analgesia and also uh, to change the mood of the patient. Uh, now the last slide is the role of morphine in case of acute left ventricular failure. This uh, type of questions uh, you know, now it has come to the written question so I am um, discussing it. It causes venodilatation, it also causes arterial dilatation and it stimulates the vagal center as a result there is bradycardia, it releases histamine so there is vasodilatation also and relief of the mental stress by tranquilizing. That's all uh, to our online session. Allah Hafiz.